How's everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning into the channel. Today I'm going to show you where I caught the heat, a legendary spotted bass in Lake Guntersville. I've been doing a lot of fishing at Lake Guntersville, so make sure to return to the channel real soon to see some top hot spots in Lake Guntersville. Don't forget, you can always pause the video when I show the map location. So let's get out to the southwest side of the map, the main section of the river, head down to the buoys. And we're going to look for a little location where it's one of my favorite hot spots that will be in the video coming out shortly for some of the greatest spots in Lake Guntersville. So once you get near the buoys, there's some trees and there's some bushes and there's one little grass spot over here that kind of sticks out into water. And that is a hot spot just loaded down with fish all the time. So it pretty much stays active 24 seven, no matter what the water temperature is, no matter what time of day it is. They do have peak times for fishing the morning and late afternoon into the evening, some of the best fishing times, but this spot just stays active all day, which will be the case in the other spots I will show you in the Lake Guntersville hotspot video. So as always, feel free to comment below. Let me know where your favorite spot is. If you fish these same spots, man, that's awesome. We're together fishing. So drop a comment below. Let me know where your favorite hot spots are. If there's one I don't know about, I would love to check it out. And if I love it, I will definitely give you a shout out in my next video. So I've been catching trophy bass, catfish, garfish, pretty much every species in Lake Guntersville in this location right here especially bass so if you're after some large mouth bass this is a great spot to fish these hot spots are very active and it makes it a little bit difficult to get a legendary because sometimes i do see some giant large mouth bass in there and i know they're probably legendary but everything hits the old swim bait so it's hard to pinpoint exactly where they at because they hit it so fast so I did spot the heat. I knew he was a legendary spotted bass because he had a large lump on his head and a lot of very large fish species kind of look abnormal. So I had to make multiple casts to try to pinpoint where he was at. So he didn't bite the old swim bait the first, not even the second time I cast near him, but eventually took the old swim bait down, baby. Nope. Not this time. Like I said earlier, there's so many fish in this spot. Swim bait is a great bait to catch bass. I've also been very lucky to catch some nice channel cats and occasionally some blue catfish on the old swim bait. So the channel cats are difficult fish to catch. Man, let me tell you, I love catfishing and channel cats are hard to get a strike. So they don't seem to be consistent, but they do bite the swim bait. They bite other baits, but other fish love the swim bait. And so they take it quicker than the old channel cat. So you see the spot drops off. Got a little deep hole right there. It's kind of where they hang out. There's old legendary bass. Catfish chasing. Bam! Fish on, baby. Fish on, and we got a heartbeat. Now this is just a small legendary spotted bass. If you want to see a giant large mount bass caught on St. John's River, check out my friend Chase B Fishing Channel. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check him out and watch Bassington be caught. 19 pounds, baby. That's a big old fish. Boom shakalaka. Ch -ch 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 giant bass. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Keep on fishing, and I'll see you next time.